Okay guys, welcome back to another Played Lately. Let's start off with a PC game. And yeah, I rarely talk about PC games, but this one is worth mentioning. Now, I have loved MMOs back in the day, and something is still intriguing with MMOs within me, even though I'm just not going back to World of Warcraft anytime soon. Also, I came off Elder Scrolls Online earlier this year, played that a lot with my friend Katrina. But this time I am playing a new MMO that is called New World. And I have to say that I really enjoy it. It is on Steam, so you can play it on PC currently, because MMOs are always best on PC, I guess. But New World it is about you being shipwrecked, I think, at an island, and this is where you will colonize a new world, sort of thing. And this island is already full of war. <laughs> there are no classes or races per se, but you can play any specific weapon type that you like. May that be axes, swords, all the usual weapons. I am liking the guns so far. Now you run around, you see a lot of other players. This is an MMO on the PC. It is brand new and I like it so far. The graphics are beautiful, but you can also turn down the graphics a bit so that your PC doesn't die. <laughs> Some people have gotten their graphics card fried from this game. Rumors though, cannot confirm that, but rumors. And it feels good, it feels very polished and nice. And I like the fact that you level up in the skills that you use the most. So in that way it is just like Skyrim's level up system, in a way. And I like it so far. Just thought I would mention it and show you some gameplay of that game. Now, I wanna know if you play it, uh, have heard about it. I'm pretty new to the game. I just needed this MMO right now, I think. Even though I don't have the time to sit down with an MMO as much as I did when I was like 19 and playing World of Warcraft all day, every day, as I did. But yeah, I would really like to see Tiny Hats play this game. I know she is really into MMOs and yeah. You can find me in the game if you want to. Fun times, just thought I would mention it because it is something that I have tried and played lately. Oh yeah. Now the reason that you have come to this video, I'm sure, it is I have started Nino Kuni 2 again on the Switch and I got a review code. Thank you so much for the review code. Now Nino Kuni 2, I actually have that in physical. <laughs> Stuff always falls down when I do that. Okay, this game is now ported to the Switch. This game came out, it feels like five years ago, and it says 2018. You all know that I love Nino Kuni 1. I find Nino Kuni 1 to be a masterpiece. It has all the elements, like a wonderful big world, this fairy tale like, I don't know, like way of telling a story. And the story is just super cozy and down to earth, if I can say that about the story within a game, but it is. And it is this Pokemon aspect where you collect all these small familiars and all of that. I can only praise Nino Kuni 1 forever. I love that game, the graphics, the music, the story, the gameplay, everything. <laughs> everything is like 10 out of 10 sort of game. Now, Nino Kuni 2 though, on the other hand, it had a lot to live up to for being Nino Kuni 2. Now this is taking place in a different time era than number one, so they are not related. You can jump into this one if you have never played or if you have played Nino Kuni 1, it doesn't matter because this is a separate sort of story. Now this time you are following along with a modern day president that is sucked back into this separate other world, the other world where Nino Kuni is taking place and you meet, let's pretend this guy is you, I play as him mostly, so I control him and I play him and I use him in battles, so I identify with this president uh, that is sucked back, I mean not really back in time but into this other world. You meet Evan, a child of sorts, that is supposedly the king of the kingdom. But the mice has killed the king and Evan is not able to step on the throne as he's supposed to. So he's like, screw everything, I'm gonna make my own kingdom. And Roland, this president guy, which also uh, turned younger by going into another world. 
they become friends and Evan is starting up his own kingdom. Now this game starts off so good, so good. It starts off as a 10 out of 10 game, but as you play, as I play, uh, I realize it is not living up to Nino Kuni 1 because they changed a lot of things. Now, I don't know the budget on this title, but it is not as high, in my opinion, as Nino Kuni 1. So first of all, you no longer have familiars that we are familiar with. We now have these small hibbity dobbity things, I don't remember what they were called, but something like that. And they are sort of replacing the familiars, and uh, I don't uh, find that to be very enjoyable. I preferred, much preferred, the familiars. And another thing is that Nino Kuni 2 is sprinkling in a lot of other gameplay elements, not only the traditional good old RPG that we are looking for, that I am looking for anyway. They are sprinkling in sort of like Pikmin style-esque uh, areas in a sort of like battle arena thing. And yeah, there are minor complaint about the whole experience of the entire game, but they were annoying enough. Sometimes in the story you are forced to do some of those sections and they are not enjoyable. There are also some puzzle sections. They are uh, hard but not necessarily what I'm looking for when I have decided to sit down with an RPG. I haven't decided to sit down with a puzzle game, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I don't enjoy those sections either. And you also have the town building uh, aspect of the gameplay, along with the other traditional Nino Kuni-esque gameplay things. So there are several other like gameplay styles thrown into the mix and some of the good things from Nino Kuni 1 is ripped out like the familiars. Uh, now, critique aside, the graphics are beautiful, but the Switch version is struggling terribly much on the overworld map. And I don't remember Nino Kuni 1 doing that, so it's a Nino Kuni 2 thing, I think. Because I don't remember complaining about that in my review of Nino Kuni, which you can also have a look at. Just super struggles. There are terrible frame drops in the overworld map, is, let's just say. And sometimes in handheld, the entire game looks very blurry. But these are graphical issues. The music is good. <laughs> Oh god, I can't stop thinking about my cousin when he had his little YouTube career. When he reviewed games, he was like, the music is good. The music was uh, good, history was good, music was good, it's a good game, good history, uh, good music. Okay, so I can't say the music is good anymore without thinking about that. He's taking a break from YouTube, I think. Anyways. But other than that, I find myself playing the game. <laughs> I find myself playing the game. Yeah, I play it up on the couch in the living room. Handheld, preferably. I don't know. I enjoy handheld. I've always done that. That's not a thing. My last video where I showed you my Game Boy Advance and DS and they're super beat up. So many people in the comment section were like, what the frick have you done with your handhelds? Why are they so beat up? I have to say, in my defense, you have no idea how much I've played on those. Imagine playing on your Game Boy Advance from the age of 9 or 10 up to the age of 14 every single day, all day, every day for several years. That is how a Game Boy Advance turns out after a while. You have no idea how much I used it every single day. I have been obsessed with gaming. I don't know what you thought of me, but why else would I make a channel about gaming? I am obsessed. I'm a, an obsessed person with games and I can't help myself. So I just had to embrace it in a way. So I made a YouTube channel about gaming. But back to Nino Kuni 2. I recommend it still. It is not a 10 out of 10 game, but it is super cute. The music is just as good in, as in Nino Kuni 1, I believe, and I think. The Switch version struggles, so I would actually recommend the PS4 version still. I went back to this one just to check, and it looked super good, uh, actually. But my final verdict is that it is not as good as Nino Kuni 1, but still worth it, still good. And I think you should try it and buy it. Buy it and try it. And play it, preferably. Don't get a big backlog, guys. Play your games. When you buy a game, play it. Don't buy a new game until you've played some other games that you already bought. Don't get a big backlog like I have. 
I'm gonna make a backlog episode video uh, later, I think. Now I have two other games on the table. We have Metroid Dread, and I can talk a tiny bit about it. I think I'm like three hours in. And Metroid is hard. It is a hard game if you don't have the patience. And you kind of have to memorize patterns of the bosses. And it is also sort of like a maze. And it is 2D side-scrolling platformery. Which is not something that I'm particularly very fond of to begin with. And provided by Bergsala Nintendo. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Also, WarioWare Get It Together. I just got this. I'm looking forward to playing it. So that, that is something that I will talk about later. But I can already say that I recommend WarioWare Get It Together because I played the demo and I love WarioWare. I was very obsessed with the Game Boy Advance WarioWare. Now, Metroid Dread. I have a friend. I have a neighbor actually. That is also a friend and a neighbor. And he can confirm that this game is a 10 out of 10. Now, check out what he had to say. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. I should go. Okay. Ooh, Metroid. That's so handsome. I know you will use it more than me. It's written in Choso. What can you say about Metroid? Well, uh, it's a uh, 10 out of 10 because um, I have um, just completed the game. Well, I have 100% um, items, but I have the last boss. Okay, so you feel like it is a 10 out of 10 game? Absolutely. So old Metroid fans will be happy with this game? I'm pretty sure. You are an old Metroid fan? Absolutely. Okay, cool. So um, they have kept the um, pure Metroid uh, spirit alive. <laughs> so he was very happy with this game. He is a big fan of Castlevania and Metroid and take his word for it. I trust his judgment and so should you. If you are into the genre, if you love Metroid to begin with, it is a solid game and everyone is saying it too. So yeah, Metroid Dread it is. Not necessarily a game for me, but I'm trying. So thank you again Nintendo for sending that to me. I don't know how long I'm gonna have this video, but I have a few small fun things, which is a package from Vernon Slayton, and I am looking forward to seeing what you have sent me this time. Undercup things. <laughs> Undercup things, guys. I don't know the name of these things, I made my own name. With some characters on there that I don't recognize immediately. Banished Sir, Sir Vern Productions. Did you make a game? Trey Slayton, my good friend and subscriber. He made a game. There's a little manual inside. So cute. Story, Sir Vern awoke to chaos one fall morning. Sounds like me today. Oh my God. Program used, RPG maker, MSAT. Thank you so much. Oh my God. So these are probably the characters from your game though, then. Thank you! That was actually super surprising, I didn't see that one coming. Creating your own game. Let me know if anyone else has created their own game. I could mm, give them a mention. Now, some other people that actually created a game. I have a note here that was sent to me. I have to include this, sorry. I have to include this, even though the video is starting to get really long. Now, this is a company that I reached out to. I was like, I have seen your small little game and I like it. Let me talk about it. And they were like, we are gonna send you something. They were practically saying that. We're yeah. I'm not sure how to pronounce the game. That is kind of embarrassing. But it is Coco Pa, I think. And it says, Isha, thank you so much for the interest in Coco Pa. Now, Coco Pa is a game that reminds me of Dragon Quest Builders 2 with cats and it is sort of like it has all the elements that we love that I know you guys love too like collecting and crafting and building and firing and you know leveling up stuff but you are a cat so they sent me a card and a pin and I say thank you so much I'm looking forward to your game I'm excited for it now the video is getting too long and I have to say thank you so much for being subscribed and I hope I will see you later Leave a comment down below of uh, anything that you have in your in your mind, on your mind. And I will try to reply uh, to as many comments as I can, as I usually do. 
as I usually do. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, maybe I should have a thumbnail. Oh, I'm just taking something from the video. Bye! Hey Stefan, I have another gift for you. Well, okay, let's see what it is. And this is from someone in Norway. I will leave links down below. But I think you will need this. Oh, this is a video call stand. This one uh, actually looks uh, small and decent. So that is also yours. Thank you. Thank you. Lite grann så brukar då. Lite. Jag brukar då. Ja. Oj. Kan du? Nej, det vi måste öppna. Nu bara in ja. Da da da. This is the Isha Game Collection. Hey, Fadi. Yeah. Don't worry.